After searching for some time for a good winter jacket, I think I found the one. And this jacket is amazing. This is the Maximamoto Bella Transformer. And these colors to match my bike are the ice black red. Now they do these in quite a few different colors. The black and red, which is quite a popular seller. I think that's the, the most popular selling one. They do it in black and dark gray. They do it in black and the fluorescent yellow. And they also do it in the ice blue black, which is that's like your popular BMW colours and I think that's one of the most popular selling ones. They also do these with the matching textile trousers. I'll show you the trousers later. But this is the jacket. It's absolutely brilliant. So it's CE approved and it's got CE approved armour in it. If we open this up. You've got the double layer front with a zip. What you've got here across the neck is this is brilliant. This is little Velcro there, Velcro there, and a little press stud there. And that's the chin guard. And that little elasticated part there, that just sits on the top of your chin. So here we go. So this is inside the jacket. So this jacket is a triple layer. So what we've got, we've got the outer shell of the jacket itself. We've then got a zip system here and then another zip system here. So inside, we've got the thermal layer. That's the thermal layer, which can be unzipped. And then next, you've got the waterproof layer which that also can be unzipped. So you've got the jacket, waterproof layer, thermal layer. Here's the CE approved label. It's got the cleaning and the washing instructions. You've also got the zip on the inside, which runs all the way around the back. And that's the part where you zip it to the trousers. That's the waterproof layer. And this is the thermal layer. Now you can remove the thermal layer and the waterproof layer. There's a little press stud at the, at the collar there. And you can wear that as a rain jacket on its own. So I've picked this one up to review. I've picked up the wrong size. This one is a 6XL and it's absolutely massive. Now I'll just explain the sizing with these jackets. They're not like our normal sizing. So what we will have is a 6XL, a 52 inch chest. I normally have between a 46 to a 48, which would be a 3XL. So they do all the way up to a 54 inch chest, which is a 7XL, and they go down to a 34 inch chest, which is an extra small. So just remember that when you're trying it on, if you're normally an XL, you're not gonna go for an XL. An XL is gonna be about a 3XL or a 4XL. What we got inside pocket here. We got an inside pocket on this side. That's neck cuff. This neck buff can be unzipped completely and removed. What it does, it comes off completely there. So if I turn it round, so at least then you can wear the jacket in spring and in summer. I can get the zip. 
There we go. So that's the neck buff. And that's the bit there, what just sits on the edge of your chin. Like that. We've got armour in the shoulders, armour in the elbow pads. It's got back armour. And on the back, we've got this section with a little zip where in there you can insert a hydration pack and then you have the little tube coming up out there over your shoulder through this little strap here and then you can have a drink while you're on the bike. That's a brilliant idea because when we did France we brought separate hydration packs which was basically like a rucksack where this one it's got it built in so you've got a waistband strap and you can also unzip this part just to get a bit more wider at the bottom it's quite a long length jacket it fits nicely over the bottom of your bum it does keep you nice and warm. Pocket at the rear. It's a good size pocket with a waterproof layer in there. It's got reflective stripes on it. On the arms you've got a strap around the top, a strap towards the bottom and then what you've got here, if you undo this zip, if you loosen this off, you've got the air vent, the mesh vent for the summer. Here, you've got, undo that. It can either be used as a pocket, you've got one each side, or it can be zipped down. either tuck it in that way and that's the that's the air vent for the chest or zip it up and use it as a pocket that side's exactly the same you've also got the pockets at the front again waterproof lines it's also got a hand warm pocket so you can do that each side you can put your hand in if you're off the bike to keep your hands warm but what a jacket it's absolutely brilliant I've been out on the bike I'll show you that footage in a bit but it's so comfortable the jacket's a bit big I do need to get the right size I need about the 3XL but the jacket is absolutely brilliant I've got no air whatsoever in this jacket no cold air coming in and there we go that's the Bella transformer I've also got the matching gloves for these I've got some footage of the gloves and when I'll do it in a bit I'll show you the trousers the matching trousers for it stretch pads on the elbows stretch pads and the back of the shoulders fully adjustable at the waist that's it absolutely brilliant love it it's a hell of a bit of kit for 120 quid i've never had a three a triple layer jacket before with a hydration pack and the neck guard it's absolutely brilliant right let's have a look at the trousers and then we'll go and have a look at the footage of me trying it out on the bike so these are the trousers the bell transformer press stored zip same again a triple lined you've got a thermal liner and a waterproof liner two pockets adjustable waistband 
zip all the way around for the jacket. Stretch pad. There's the air vents. So the difference with these is the mesh is on the outside and what you've got is the windproof layer on the inside. Side pockets each side, which are waterproof, stretchable knee, the knee armour. Adjustable around the calf, adjustable height, and adjustable around the ankle. Friction pads, extra grip, but these are quite thick. You can remove the thermal and the waterproof layer so they can become a summer trouser. Those are £99 so for the jacket and the trousers as a complete suit you're looking at about £220 which is amazing for a complete suit or triple layered quality is amazing That's the Bella Transformer Trousers. So what I've done, I've only put a t-shirt on, under the jacket, so I can see what the jacket's like. What are we on? Six degrees. So it's a nice day. It's not much wind, but it is, it is quite cold. The air's quite fresh. I've just put a t-shirt on. And what I've done, I've got all the layers in the jacket. So I've got the waterproof layer in and the thermal layer. And it fills up. It's a bit big, the jacket is. The arms, the arms are massive in it. I do need to change the size. And it's a bit big round here, I've had to pull all the waistbands in quite big. But um, with all the layers in, it's quite a chunky jacket. It is. It's, there's a bit of bulk to it, but it feels nice. And already I can feel... Oh, that wind, that wind was um, that's sharp on my face, but I've got no, no wind coming in anywhere. I've put my summer gloves on as well, I think that's going to be a mistake. But I don't like wearing big bulky gloves all the time, right, so we're going to go on the jaw carriageway and we're going to see what it's like with a bit of wind. I've put the neck guard on. And I do like how that little front elasticated part just sits at the top of your chin. I do like that because when I wear my neck buff I never... I don't tend to have it over my mouth and over my nose. I do only have it over my chin. So that's perfect for me. So at the moment the only cold I'm getting is on my bloody hands because I put my summer gloves on. Yeah, could definitely do with uh, the right size. It does feel a bit... Um, it feels a bit loose around the arms and around the top up here. There seems that you know there's quite a bit of a bit of excess, which I wasn't too sure about a triple layered coat. I thought it was going to be too bulky, but it's not. It's nice. We're doing 60 now, so I've got no wind whatsoever getting in. I can't feel any cold 
on any part of my body where the coat is and I do love that little pocket there that one on the wrist that's a that's a great idea that is you know you can keep your card in there or some money in it that is a good idea I do like that I mean in this temperature I wouldn't I wouldn't wear just a t-shirt anyhow under my jacket but I wanted to I wanted to see if there's any air getting in and there's not it's really good really really good actually I can feel the difference with it cupping around my bum that there's no cold air around the back of me the bottom of my back and around my bum cheeks I do notice that on my other jacket it's nice to be out on the dry road for a change no wind whatsoever I can feel the wind battering me and there's no wind getting in this jacket I could actually tour all day in six degrees with just a t-shirt on in this jacket that is brilliant my hands are bloody freezing now that neck buff is brilliant I'm getting no air going up into the helmet and I've also not I've got no earplugs in I haven't got me my neck buff over my head or nothing um, and I haven't got any wind noise in my helmet so that is obviously stopping a lot of wind cupping underneath the chin guard I never really saw the saw the appeal of these neck guards on a, on a bottle jacket I just thought just put your neck buff on but that is a big difference on my neck buff because the one thing actually as well is all the side of my neck here is warm but even with my neck buff I do you know, you'll still feel a bit of cold getting through the neck buff. It's only, it's only a thin material, but that is, that is really good. Let's have a look in the mirror. Yeah, really happy with that. Something I never thought I would want to use. And when I picked this jacket up, I thought, okay, it's a nice little uh, feature on the jacket. But in my, you know, my vision straight away was, I'll take that off. I don't think I will. I like it. it feels good. And plus it stops, it's stopping in the air, getting down, getting down the top of the jacket as well. I'm over the moon with it, it's amazing. It's the best jacket I've had. And I mean, come on, look at the price. What jacket are you going to get for that price at this quality? The only thing is I can't really demonstrate to you is the air vents, how good the air vents work, because obviously it's too cold to use air vents I need to wait till spring till it gets warm but maybe I'll make that a second video of what it's like in warm weather I mean obviously in the summer you take that you take this chin guard off and you get a bit of air gain in the jacket but no air, wind getting in the helmet no wind noise whistling around my ears my neck's lovely and warm but no neck buff on nothing now I've got a nice favourite little viewing spot at the moment I'd like to come and see and I think it's up here the close yeah nice little cul-de-sac with just nothing at the end of it just open fields it's just nice to come up here and just look in it over there one day I'm going to do it one day I'm going to move away from the city. Right, that's a nice little stop. A little look at the countryside. I am beautifully warm. Lovely. Lovely and warm. Oh, that wind's a bit it's a bit sharp around my face so there you go that's the Bella transformer jacket from Maxi Mamoto absolutely fantastic I can't believe I've got just a t-shirt on underneath it feels amazing that's one thing I don't like when I go out on the bike is when you're all buffed up and you've got your thermal layer on, your t-shirt on, a hoodie or something or another layer under your jacket. I don't like all the layering. But if I could come out in just a t-shirt, 
in weather like this, I'm happy. I am happy with it. I'll put the link up for the jacket. Maxima Moto are at the motorcycle show in London. The weekend coming. So they've got them there. They'll have all the sizes. All the colours are in stock. But for the money, you can't go wrong with this. It is an amazing jacket. Oh, I, can't, I can't believe how good it is. I'm so impressed with it. So impressed. I saw these at the Birmingham bike show when Maximum Moto was there and I was talking with them. And I thought that looks a good jacket did that did. I should have got one. I should have got one then. And all this winter riding I've been doing. I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna go into some more miles in my lovely jacket. So that's that's it. I'll see you on the next one.